All right, well, explosive new allegations emerging against D.A. Fonnie Willis this week. The lawyer who exposed the potential conflict of interest between Willis and Nathan Wade testified before a special Georgia Senate committee alleging that Wade was paid nearly double the salary of his other colleagues. Listen. It gives pretty much zero, in my opinion, um, identification. I mean, this is not something that we would be able to submit to a client. Um, Ever, um, I can't imagine. I mean, they would, if I billed them two thousand dollars for eight hours of meeting with a team on one day, I, I, and just research without what I'm researching. I mean, you you have to be detailed in your bills because that's accountability. I mean, that's the only way as lawyers we can be accountable. All right, criminal defense attorney Brian Claypool joins us now. Brian, a couple of major explosive allegations in that testimony. Let's break them down one by one, starting with what you just heard there from Ashley Merchant that. Nathan Wade earned more than double the salaries of his colleagues and that the accounting for how he was paid and what he was paid for is opaque. What do you make of that? Hey, Jillian, great to see you again. Yeah, the testimony yesterday was devastating. The evidence is really damaging for Fonnie Willis. Why? Because Nathan Wade was paid almost $700,000. He billed $250 an hour. If you do the math, Jillian, that's 700,000 divided by uh, $250 an hour is 2,800 hours. What did he do in 2,800 hours? And his billing doesn't reveal that. When you're paid, a, when you're paid hourly, Jillian, you are required to itemize your tasks. You can't just bill 12 hours I went to a meeting. So that there is potential for taxpayer fraud now stemming from this evidence. And by the way, there's two other uh, assistants that were uh, appointed as special counsel. They billed a little under 100000 So it's almost yeah. seven times more that he billed that Fonnie Willis would get the bill, she would approve it, and it gets paid. So this is devastating. Uh, what about this? This is um, Ashley Merchant claiming that their cell phone data that Wade took a series of Middle of the night trips to Fonnie Willis's house before she'd even hired him. Take a listen to that. So it's pinging from his house all the way down to the condo at midnight, 1 a.m. And then, and he calls her when he gets there. And then it goes silent for four or five hours. And then, you know, early in the morning hours, he starts pinging again, driving back, and then he texts her when he gets home. So, and, and this we, is before he gets hired in November of 21. Yes. I mean, I don't know. What do you say to that? Well, Jillian, this is getting bigger than should Fonnie Willis be removed. And I think she will be after all of this, this testimony. That question by one of the state senators is critical. Why did he ask if that was before Wade was hired? Because that now potentially supports a perjury charge. Remember, Willis and Nathan Wade got up on the stand and said, we didn't have any kind of relationship before Wade was hired in November of 2021. Well, now we've got cell phone data, and I saw 30 visits to Hapeville, Georgia. I think that's where Fonnie Willis lives. 30 visits prior to Wade being hired. That supports the proposition yeah. that more was going on that it could right. have easily been a romantic relationship. What are you doing from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m.? So this could create you know, additional charges against Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade. Yeah, a lot of... Uh spiraling questions coming out of that testimony. Brian, we got to leave it there. Thanks for taking time with us. You bet. Thanks, Jillian. Thanks, Dana. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.